All right guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of my wild friends. This one is a box turtle. It happens to be an ornate box turtle. You can see the beautiful shell on the top and likewise on the belly. Just an incredible one. These guys, uh, we used to have them up in Wisconsin, although I never saw one in the wild. And they are definitely a lot more common here in Arkansas. There's a couple types of box turtles in the area, but this one's the ornate. And uh, in several of the Midwest states, like Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, some others, they're actually a protected species. Their numbers are in, uh, the population is down to the point where they don't let people really capture them in the wild and stuff like that. Uh, the way I heard it is back in the day, Native Americans used to use them as food. And when a lot of the uh, fur traders, pioneers, others did as well, what they would do is uh, they ate a lot of them to the point where a lot of their numbers became severely decreased in a lot of places they haven't even uh, recovered. And I know up in Wisconsin they tried a couple different breeding programs and a lot of times it was like trying to put a puzzle together to find ones that were actually compatible. So a lot of the uh, offspring were not all that good genetically. They had different um, deformities and other things. Now these guys can live for uh, over 30 years and uh, their home is across pretty much the uh, Midwest United States, um, heading eastward. Uh, they live in forests and prairies, and they'll often be found in the shade during the heat, but they'll use water and soil as well to regulate their body temperatures as a cold-blooded animal. The hotter it is out, the more energy they're going to have um, as it heats up their blood, but as well, if they get too hot, they can die. So often they'll be sitting in water or other places trying to uh, regulate their body temperature, find them in the shade, stuff like that. They're an omnivore, so not only will they eat berries and grass and things like that, they'll also eat insects, worms, and uh, I've seen them eating dead animals. So uh, it's kind of interesting to walk up and see a, uh, a turtle gnawing on a dead rabbit carcass that's laying there. And then of course they're going to be attacked by a variety of birds, skunks, raccoons, things like that. And these guys are a, a full box turtle, so right across here is the seam. And if they're scared enough, they can tuck their front in and close this, and they can tuck their back in and close this. And they can actually get pretty uh, pretty tight in there. A lot of times we'll see them crossing the road, and a lot of times they just got scared by something or another because they're completely sealed up in their shells, just sitting there in the middle of the road. So we'll stop, we'll move them, we'll help them like that. But an absolutely incredible and beautiful turtle. I mean, look at that face, that belly. Oh, the arms, the shell. So another one of my wild friends, pop out.